Hey everyone, Anthony here, and today's video is going to be about the desk setup that I use for gaming and video production. I recently built myself a new desk and completely reorganized my setup. In this video, you're gonna get a good look at my old setup, then there's gonna be a little bit about how we actually put the new desk together, and then you'll get a tour of how everything is set up right now, and what my plans for the future are, so definitely stick around for that. I do want to try to turn this into a series where I make a video every time I make a substantial upgrade to my setup, so please subscribe if you're interested. Real quick, I'm gonna show you what my old setup looked like. So this is my setup at the moment. We've got my keyboard, my mouse of choice, headphones, lamp, got another desk lamp back here that shines light onto the wall. What I'm using for a desk is basically just an old dining room table. See, it's got these funny old-fashioned legs that are kind of chipped. So yeah, there's my setup at the moment. It's not bad, but it's obviously not the nicest looking or the cleanest, and that's going to basically be the whole goal of this video, uh, to clean it up, get a fresh new desk, some fresh lights, and basically make it all nice and ready for the new year. For my new desk, I wanted something as big as possible for as cheap as possible. Now, that's a bit of a hard ask, so my best option was to build one myself exactly how I wanted it. I enlisted the help of my grandfather, and we went off to Home Depot and bought a sheet of oak plywood for about $50. We had it cut to the exact size I wanted, then we bought some table legs and brought it all back to the house. Looking pretty good so far. So I've been working all day and all night to basically just start setting up the desk, uh, but something that still has to be done is cable management. Uh, you can see that ugly mess right there. Uh, so basically what I've got, I've got these cable clips, these uh, cable sleeves, and Velcros. I also purchased something that I've been wanting for quite a while now, an RGB light strip. If you know anything at all about gaming setups, you'll know that light strips are incredibly popular and that pretty much no setup is complete without one. I bought the light strip for about 20 bucks on Amazon, and I know there are nice fancy ones that you can control with your phone, but those were like, those are like $60 or something? I don't know, they're expensive, and after paying for my desk, I was just about broke, so I went with the cheapest one I could find. The final new thing that I bought for my setup was Steam Wallpaper Engine. Maybe you've heard of it, but if you haven't, it's basically a $4 piece of software that allows you to create live animated wallpapers like the ones I have on my desktop right now. You can see uh, there's a little bit of like lightning and wind and fog going around Kylo Ren back there. Uh, you might be able to see that the galaxy is turning slowly, 
Uh, but yeah, that's basically what Steam Wallpaper Engine allows me to do. If you haven't guessed by the name, it's available on Steam, and for $4, it adds a lot to a setup. I definitely recommend that you check it out if you haven't already. But yeah, those were the three new things that I bought for my setup. New desk, new lights, new wallpapers. Now for a tour of how I have everything set up. For my main monitor, I have an LG 29 inch ultra wide. If you're coming from standard 16 to nine monitors, ultra wide monitors do take a little bit of adjustment, but once you get used to it, it's great for just about anything you can think of from gaming to editing, to productivity, to spreadsheets, to like just anything. My side monitor is nothing special. It's an old TV that my family had and I mounted it on a monitor arm, flipped it on its side and was good to go. For audio, I'm using these inexpensive Logitech speakers. They do get loud enough to shake the ceiling downstairs and annoy my mom, so for all intents and purposes, I'm set. I also have the original HyperX Cloud as my gaming headset of choice. Super comfortable, highly recommend. I also have the classic blue silver. I also have the classic silver blue Yeti mic for voiceovers. For my keyboard, I'm using the E Element Z77 with blue switches and custom gray keycaps. It does get a little loud, but it is very satisfying to type on and it served me well. For my mouse, I've got Logitech's famous MX Master 2S. This is the biggest, heaviest mouse I've ever owned and I don't think I'm gonna need to upgrade anytime soon. I also have the Corsair extended mouse pad. Again, if you know anything about setups, you've probably seen this guy everywhere. And to be honest, that's the only reason I have it. Normally, this is where I'd recommend it, but the supposed anti-fray stitching on the sides actually does fray, so never mind. As for my computers, my main one is the Dell Inspiron 5675 gaming desktop. I think that's it. I know a lot of people like to build their own computers, but I got a really good deal on this one at Best Buy. As of right now, I've added some extra RAM and an SSD to make everything run as fast as it possibly can. I guess you can consider those upgrades practice for whenever I do actually build my own gaming PC, but for now, this is what I'm working with and it's served me pretty well so far. I mean, it runs Fortnite smoothly, and you really can't ask for anything more these days. I've also got an old 2012 HP laptop sitting off to one side. And back here, I've got an old 2008 MacBook Pro. I actually first started editing videos on the MacBook back when I was like 11 or 12, and I would even film home movies with its webcam. I keep it around, it's great. For other desk decorations, I've got a salt lamp. As of this recording, the bulb has died, but you can go watch any of my other videos, and in most of them, it's in the background, lit up, yeah. I've got some old school books behind my monitor, for lack of a better place to put them. I've got this fake plant from Target. These little Drax and Baby Groot thingies that my mom got me as a gift because I'm a huge Marvel nerd, if you couldn't tell by the massive Doctor Strange poster up there. Um, but yeah, these are kind of cute. They sit on my desk all day, every day, watching me, judging me. Anyway, that was my setup tour. It's actually taken me probably pretty close to three years to accumulate all this gear, but my setup is finally at a point where I'm proud enough to show it off in a YouTube video. That being said, my setup is always a work in progress. So leave a comment with any tips or suggestions, I'd appreciate it. Like I said at the beginning, I want to turn this into a series. The next big thing that I'd like to do is upgrade all of my audio gear. Get some proper studio monitors and maybe cover the walls in acoustic foam to improve the overall sound quality. Who knows? Definitely subscribe to my channel to stay updated. I do lots of tech videos like this one, but I'm also into filmmaking, so keep an eye out for short films as well. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.